We are going to learn about the interior of the earth, the characteristics of the materials found from the surface to the center of the earth are different. Accordingly, the interior of the earth is divided into three parts, the crust, the mantle and the core. The outermost layer is formed of solid rocks. It is known as the crust. The layer below it is known as the mantle. The crust and the portion of mantle adjoining to it is called lithosphere. The lithosphere is about 100 km thick. The portion below the mantle is called the core. The crust. The thickness of the core is not uniform all over. Below the continent, it is about 40 km thick, while below the oceans, it is about 8 km thick. In the mountainous regions like Himalayas, the thickness of the core is almost up to 70 km. The average thickness of the core is 30 km. The crust is further divided into Sial and Saima. Sial. The upper portion of the core is called Sial. The rocks in this layer mostly contain silica and aluminium. Both these elements are lighter in weight. They are found in the upper layer of the crust. Most of the continents on the earth are formed out of the Sial. The layer of Sial is thicker in the continental portion than in the oceanic portion. Saima. The layer below the Sial is called Saima. Most of the oceanic floors are formed out of Saima. The rocks in this layer mostly contain the compounds of silica and magnesium. This layer of Saima is heavier than Sial. The mantle. The layer below the crust of the earth is the mantle, which is almost 2870 km in thickness. It is made up from the compounds of iron and magnesium. The rocks in the upper 100 to 200 km of the mantle melt due to heat. Due to the magma created in this layer, magma chambers are found in this part. The lava that surfaces through volcanic activity is formed here. The core. This layer lies below the mantle. It has a thickness of 3471 kilometers. It is further divided into outer core and the inner core. The outer core is in liquid state while the inner core is in solid state. The core contains heavy and hard substances. The inner core predominantly comprises of iron and nickel hence it is also called as nife. Changes occurring from the surface to the center of the earth. The center of the earth is located at a distance of 6,371 kilometers from its surface. As we go from the surface to the center, certain changes occur in the interior of the earth. They are as follows. The process of cooling of the earth started from the surface. Hence, the temperature increases as towards the core. This increase in the temperature is 1 degree Celsius per 32 meters of the depth. This means that though the outer surface of the earth is cool, the core is very hot. The temperature near the core is around 5000 degrees Celsius. The density of the material increases towards the core. The primary waves of an earthquake 
can travel through all the layers of the interior. However, the direction of these waves changes while passing through the core. The secondary waves of an earthquake cannot travel through the core. After studying this, the different layers of the interior and their boundaries have been determined. See the given figure. There is a considerable difference in the temperature, density, the liquid and solid state of materials in the interior of the earth which gives rise to a number of movements. This indicates that the interior of the earth is unstable.